we are here at the booth and uh, I'm over here with uh, Kalen. Kalen, how are you yeah, doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, and so um, how many games do you bring this year? Um, I brought about nine, my friend bought about three, I think. Okay. Yeah. And you're based in California. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Southern California. So what made you start in collecting? Uh, just sort of sort of a random thing. Just found a game for $50, like a Sega Turbo, and bought it. That was back in like 99. And then we, uh, I moved in with a friend. We bought a non-working, uh, was it Mr. Do's Castle? For like 50 bucks. And uh, it didn't work, we fixed it. And then ever since then, it's just been an ongoing thing, so. Great, yeah. So I know you have your, your you have a collection and actually have a place yeah. out there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we have an arcade, it's private, sort of like Starfighters, but it's only sort of like open twice or two weekends a month, but it's all, it's called Arcade 2084, it's in Anaheim. In Anaheim. Yeah. And is it more like a invitation or more like, you know, I'm you're on Facebook and basically we just sort of send out invites, but they're not really invites, it just sort of lets everyone know when we're open. Perfect, great. Um, do you have a website or do you, or you have a YouTube channel? Um, we have a website. I think it's 2084arcade.com where mainly you can find us through Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, but I rarely post on there. On your Facebook, what is uh, your your uh, your name? Um, well, you can type in like Arcade2084 on there or you can find me at just Kalen Harvest. Yeah, I notice you have... Um, a couple of neat Tato cabinets. What you've got, uh, Zookeeper. Yeah, the only, the only game I brought is my Zookeeper, and that's my favorite game that I own. That and Robotron. And uh, but we have, I have a pretty good collection of Tato machines, and I'd like to keep them going. That's, that's my favorite manufacturer. So that's uh, those are ones I'm, I'm namely after. But now it's coming down to the harder titles to find. Yeah, I, I know uh, we were talking, there's a whole bunch of titles out there that I'm not even aware of, yeah, have I mean, never there's seen. There's quite a few, there's quite a few, so yeah, there's uh, the older Tato's and the older cabinets, those are the harder ones, but there's a lot of a lot of them that came out that are really hard to come across, like Space Dungeon and Cram, Electric Yo-Yo, and a few friends of mine have them, but they've had to like piece them together over the years, so it's... It's always a challenge to find that kind of stuff. Sometimes you get lucky, just some somebody has one in their garage and you know they post it or call you on it and you get lucky, but not with you know, very rarely with that kind of stuff though. So. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, are you using um, uh, original power supplies? Um, on the older Tatos, yeah. On like the the ones that, you know, like Jungle King, uh, Elevator action, zookeeper, and stuff like that. Yeah, there's arcade arcade shop uh, power supply that basically it just exists that plugs right into the existing uses the existing plugs, and you don't have to do anything. So I mean, it basically saves the wear on the other. And besides, the original power supplies they, they fail all the time. So sure, know. sure, yeah, that makes sense. And then. Um, Notice you also had a really nice uh, mouse trap here too. You said that was one of your favorite yeah, games. It took me a while to fit to get it. I had to do a series of trades, but yeah, I'm excited with that game. I love that game. Yeah. So. All, right, all right. Well, thank you, Kalen. Uh, thanks for joining us here.